UCI TV. And uh, the role of rent is very, very key. Uh, so that is why, uh, as an institution, we really value uh, what you people are doing. And that's the reason why I'm starting by just appreciating the contribution that you are making to the, uh, to the UCI. Um, before I came, it was just yesterday that uh, we received a copy of uh, our ministerial policy uh, statement. Uh, so I, this morning, was just looking through it, uh, our section, our contribution as the, the ECI. And you'll be really glad that uh, uh, the role of the REC, including the meetings, the approvals, and everything that you people have done, has been captured in that document. So I needed to really tell you that, that you know, uh, you are making a big contribution uh, to the achievements uh, of the Uganda Cancer Institute. That said, uh, I should start by uh, giving you some important developments uh, in the Uganda Cancer Institute uh, that I think you people need to, to know. The first day uh, on Friday, uh, we had a retreat uh, for the Uganda Cancer Institute uh, board. And the important information from that is that uh, during that retreat, we welcomed the new uh, Uganda Cancer Institute board, actually the second board of the Uganda Cancer Institute uh, since uh, our law uh, came into uh, existence. Um, the board is actually the owner of the Uganda Cancer Institute, and they do this <coughs> on behalf of the uh, Minister of Health. So that means that everything that we do as Uganda Cancer Institute actually is under the board. And uh, the issues and all the challenges that the Uganda Cancer Institute face, the first point to which we should revert those things is to the board. So I'm just informing the REC that some of the issues that you have mentioned here, um, including the challenges in as far as the bylaws and all the other uh, regulatory issues at institutional level, are concerned. Uh, they must be captured by uh, the REC and then channeled uh, through uh, the uh, head of research and training under which the REC uh, actually falls so that they are actually forwarded uh, to the board. And the board has the capacity, for instance, where there is some gray area in law and all that kind of thing, they can enact uh, some sort of bylaws, or at least some uh, some uh, some rules, uh, or even guidelines that can be used to circumvent <coughs> some of those things as far as the uh, institutional running is concerned. So you have at least some avenue there. So that's the first information. Then the second information that I wanted to give you is that uh, it's about just a week ago. Uh, the Medical and Dental Practitioners Council actually accredited uh, the ECI now as a training institution for oncology. So we are now certified. Yeah. And, and that's very important uh, because that means uh, the volume uh, and I think to some extent also the, the quality and all the other issues that come along with it in as far as research is going is concerned, it's going to go up because of that. And as you know, we are the uh, East Africa Center of Excellence. And that means we are going to receive many more researches coming in. Uh, so the accreditation in itself is a, is, is a big landmark, but for the REC, that means more work. More work is going to be coming to you, to your desk. So what is now going to be required uh, of you is that uh, there is need for efficiency 
speed and all that. And I know that in itself is a challenge. But the reassurance that I can give you, given the fact that you have at least the board to support you, you have the management, at least the ED himself is a big supporter of what you do. All that you have in terms of challenges should always be channeled so that we can actually work together to make sure that uh, the REC uh, overcomes those challenges and there is efficiency in the way uh, that uh, you do your, your work. UCI TV. About uh, is currently something which uh, is not very easy to handle because we are in a kind of a world which is which is changing. But to me, I think we should take advantage of the fact that as a nation, we are actually moving in that direction. Uh, there are times when you know we talk this, but we do the other. And I think, in as far as also uh, migration to electronic system is concerned, it is not very different. The uh, solution depends with the institution. The institution, in this case, the ECI, is committed to making sure that you know we migrate. We have started that already, and very soon you are going to realize that most of our uh, clinical. Uh, information clinical records are uh, electronic. We have started investing in that and uh, uh, it's no surprise that actually last year uh, and I think this is also information to you, last year in the health sector uh, the Uganda Cancer Institute was actually top uh, in electronic migration and we, we won an award actually uh, from NETA. So that shows you uh, that even a challenge like what you are talking about, uh, institutionally we can handle. We don't need to wait until the whole of government is doing something uh, before <laughs> we can actually go in that direction. What we need to hear uh, from them is that that is the direction we need to move and institutionally we need to put money. The, for the Uganda Cancer Institute, you as REC should be assured your budget is there and your budget actually falls under research and training. So that means during the budgeting process, actually, you should make your request known, you should channel it, and we will prioritize it. And I'm talking as the accounting officer. We will <laughs> prioritize it here. So those are some of the key issues that I wanted actually to uh, bring to your attention. But the most important thing which I wanted to do is just to appreciate uh, the role that you are playing in as far as uh, the volume of research is concerned. Dr. Nixon will tell you uh, the number of peer-reviewed publications that came out of the Uganda Cancer Institute in the last uh, year is just phenomenal. It's amazing. And to me, what that reflects is that the REC is doing a lot, a lot of work. And, 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 and to kind of review all those uh, researches, approve them and all that kind of thing is, is, is not an easy task, but you are doing it. But my request to you is that more is coming and you should even do more. And my reassurance to you is that we are there to make sure that you are given the resources, the capacity and name it that will help you to do your work properly. As I close, I need also to bring to your attention uh, some two key developments that I want you to cancer institute. You know, we have a research policy uh, that has been approved, and within that research policy, uh, there are actually two uh, components, if not three. Already, of course, uh, REC is well entrenched within the research policy. But there are two other components within that policy that I would want you to acquaint yourself with so that you can see how you can actually take advantage of them or even help to make sure that you know they perform to the level that now you people have reached. The first one uh, is uh, the uh, scientific 
uh, review committee uh, which has been formed. And we want uh, REC to actually uh, look at how they can take advantage of the scientific review committee. What I would imagine uh, will be the role is that uh, all scientific issues should actually be well addressed by the scientific review committee uh, so that the work of REC will be just focusing mainly on the ethical uh, issues. So it is actually uh, the REC to kind of see how you can advise the scientific review committee how they can do their work and then how they can also interact uh, with, uh, with REC. Uh, so I want you to take interest in that. Then the second one, which is also very important and related, uh, is the uh, Institutional Safety Committee. Uh, we have also brought that on board. And we think that uh, the Institutional Safety Committee is very important because all the safety uh, issues, be it with treatment, be it uh, with participants in as far as suicide is concerned, be it with technology, equipment, in this case, you know, we have radiotherapy and all that kind of thing. Uh, we need them to be able to do their work properly and because their work also impacts on what REC is doing. So there is need for REC also to think of how you can uh, kind of relate uh, uh, with the Institutional uh, Safety Committee. So I wanted to bring to your attention these two committees that are within our uh, research policy that may actually impact on what you do or that you may actually influence how they can perform their work. Otherwise, I'm so grateful uh, for all that you are doing, and I want really to wish you all the best during this uh, retreat. I expect that the document that will come out of this retreat is going to be moved through our system. It's not only going to be something that is going to be seen by management, but I really look forward uh, to bringing what uh, the uh, 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 REC is going to suggest to the attention of our board. So with those few remarks, I want to declare the, the retreat open. Thank you. UCI TV.